VO2 max explained in two minutes. When we exercise, we inhale air from the surrounding environment. This consists mainly of nitrogen, a very small amount of carbon dioxide, and most importantly for human health, oxygen. In the simplest way, VO2 max is the total amount of oxygen that our bodies can uptake and utilize during maximal intensity exercise. Usually it's measured in liters per minute. VO2 max is a measure of the amount of blood our heart, heart can pump through our arteries and the ability of our exercising tissue to extract that oxygen from our blood. But why should you care? Well, VO2 max is an important indicator of human health. A strong heart, a big blood volume, and plenty of capillaries are important factors, largely controllable through one simple thing, exercise. Now let's look at the oxygen delivery process closer. From the lungs, one, oxygen diffuses into arteries and binds to a molecule called hemoglobin, which is found on red blood cells. Two, oxygenated blood moves to the heart through vessels called arteries. Three, the left ventricle of the heart, now with oxygen-bound blood, ejects this oxygenated blood towards the exercising muscle tissues. Four, the oxygen-bound hemoglobin now travels within the systemic arteries that slowly decreases in size into arterioles and finally capillaries. Five, finally at the capillaries, the oxygenated blood reaches skeletal muscle cells and the bond between oxygen and hemoglobin molecules decreases, releasing oxygen to the tissue. Without a large blood volume, a strong left ventricle, and plenty of capillaries, we one, lack the ability to pump as much blood, and two, lack the ability to extract as much oxygen as we could. Again, the best way to increase this is through exercise. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at oxygen delivery and VO2 max.